Hello and in this video I want to show how enums work in C++, it's very simple, it's like in almost every other coding programming language too. And yes, first of all, before I explain what enums are, there exist two ver versions of enums. I time the scoped enum, which what I prefer because in large projects can happen that you, for example, two times the same name use. And there exist the unscoped enum, which I already said is the risk that if you use two names at the same time, that it can get into trouble. But first I'll show you how to create an unscoped enum. Now, it's simple, we just write the keyword enum, followed by the name, in this case we say game level, and then we do like level 1, level 2, level 3. So, the underlying type of our enum is automatic integer. We can it's change into double, uh, double for example, like this. So, now enums, also C counted from zero, plus one all the time, means this is zero, this is one, this is two, and follow. We can it specify definite like this. Now it no is level one, four, and no is level two, five, and level three, six. Because after the four, if we don't specify the uh, variables, it get counted by one all the time. You see? No. If we print out the name. You will see it will print out 4 because the underlying type of level 1 is 4. Mostly our enums use it for make it cleaner and uh, clearer to read. Otherwise it would get complicated sometimes if you just have like you know a function just have numbers. No. We can create another enum like this can write here also what data type it is and then we write I don't know something like this now we have a problem because we have two times level one and if you know, try to print out level 1, we get an error because the compiler doesn't know anymore which of them bot to call because they have bought the same name. This can be avoid, which are unscoped enum, uh, uh, sorry, I mean a scoped enum. And I'll show you how to create it. It's very simple. We write the keyword enum followed by class or a struct one of the bots we can write I write class then the name and uh, what was map level you write integer and now we do the same again now we can it use because in this case, we just write level 1, and in this case, we need uh, to write like this, two double numbers, uh, double points. Now we can't simply do something like this. Nope. Because 
because the because this operator doesn't exist also it's not definite in the new specified uh, data type but also custom data type that we created map level so we have two ways to uh, print it out the first way is which static cast static underlying type for find the underlying type it's map level the type type and here what we want to print out in this case map level level 1 and you see it works because level 1 is here 2 and here 6 and yeah that's it i would say leave a like here if you liked this video and a sub if you want more and thanks for watching the video and bye